Hi everybody, I want to talk about another feature for LaunchBox and add another further emulator. Uh, this time we want to talk about Atari Jaguar. Uh, Atari Jaguar was a great console in the early 90s and during the height of the console wars. Uh, as you probably all know, there's plenty of documentation and videos around about how the Jaguar was. I was myself a, a first time owner of a Jaguar when it first came out. I had a couple of games for it and it never seemed to get any further because there wasn't the quality titles out there. Uh, I remember having a few, uh, Doom, Dragon, Theme Park, uh, and Syndicate. I remember having those games. I, th I think there was probably one or two more. I think by the time the Alienverse Predator came out, I think I'd got rid of it, uh, which is a shame. But what I want to talk to you about is obviously that new emulator uh, that's come out for it. Uh, I'll just bring it up on screen. The Big PEMU made by Rich Whitehouse, a good guy, uh, who's done an extraordinary job with this thing. An extraordinary job. Uh, once you start messing around with it and playing with it, you'll understand why it's so much better than the Virtual Jaguar and Project Tempest. There is no CD compatibility, Jag CD at the moment, but I'm sure uh, with all the right sort of patronages, very important that bit, that uh, that I'm sure Rich will probably find a way to make that happen. But there's plenty of documentation on here about how the emulator works and how get to get it better uh, to suit customize your setup of your PC or laptop. Uh, but for me, I've got a 4K computer with 4K screen, so I don't mind if I can set things up in high dynamic range. Absolutely fine. Uh, but yeah, but I'll put the link to it there. I'll put that in for you to download. But yeah, the guy's done an absolutely awesome job. So definitely worth the patronage. Just give what you can. Uh, yeah, so we'll crack on with it. So what you need to do, uh, first of all, in fact, first of all, I'll show you the emulator as a standalone on its own. Uh, so what we'll do, emulators, Atari Jaguar, as you can see, forget them. Don't won't want them after this. I'll start the emulator on its own as a standalone. Once you extract your folder, this is what you'll end up with. You don't need to put any BIOS or anything like that. It's all set up for you. So I'll click it. The nice Jaguar layout. The guy's done such an amazing job. It's already conf configured for you as a default. Uh, so yeah, so I've got an Xbox One pad, so it's already configured. But you can go through that all in there and in the settings and uh, videos. You can set it up to HDR and uh, I've got it in 4K as you can see. I haven't enabled the HDR, but you can if you want to. Uh, there's plenty to mess around with there. I've got the screen effects set to that one. Uh, but yeah, it's absolutely awesome. Have a play around and see what works better for your system. So, so we'll show you a game quickly, low cartridge. Now, a game is always notoriously difficult to play through the emulation uh, was uh, Dragon, Bruce Lee story. Now, you can see it reads both formats as a zipped or as an unzipped JAG folder. So, your choice. So, what we'll do is click the folder, load the game up. As you can see, it looks so much better, so smooth. But you'll have a look, a play around with the filters to make see what works for you better. Right, so I'll put the game on. I'll just start the game just for the sake of it, so you can see how it looks. I was definitely a first-time owner on a Jaguar, and I did have this. Uh, remember, it's X, A, B on your control pad. And obviously, your uh, number pad buttons are hold left trigger and press all the buttons correspondingly to get the one, two to nine zeros. But you can see the game runs absolutely blisteringly smooth and it looks so much better. If you've played a Jaguar game recently, you will see that they don't look nothing like this. So what we'll do is we'll quit that, press the escape key or the back key uh, and then press the B button and click exit and that's out of the emulator. So once you've extra put that into your emulator folders, we'll bring you up to Launchbox. So what you'll need to do is just add it 
as a normal emulator so what you'll do is tools manage emulators uh, click add but you see I've already put it in so I'll click edit but we'll meet at the same screen so all you need to do is put the name of the emulator in all I did was go out there click right click rename right click uh, copy and I'll just put that in there you know where the exe is there it is click there wherever you keep in the uh, emulator uh, you don't need to put anything in like default line param parameters it's so you'll already have it set in full screen when you sort the emulator out so default emulator uh, associated pl platforms make sure it says Atari Jaguar click default emulator no need to put anything in there because it's more if you're using a core so once you've done that click OK it will ask you next if you want to scan your folder because uh, you're going to make this as your default emulator so if you want to do that click yes I highly recommend making it your default emulator there's no issues with it because the things that don't work with the other ones 100% work with this one so there's no reason to not make it your default you can click extract ROMs from RAR if you like uh, so yeah once you've got that it'll be in there click OK close now you should see your stuff in there and it'll start with that new emulator if you wanted to do it as a separate say like virtual Jaguar that one and then this one into the new emulator just right click edit edit metadata once you've added the, the emulator into the folder just click down there emulator and then choose it from the drop down list it's that straightforward there it is there and then click OK that's it and, and that will open with that emulator and if you want a previous one like Virtual Jaguar, Retro Arch or whatever that will open with that but yeah I can't say enough about about this emulator it is so great to see something like this after all this time it brings out the Jaguar into the modern day version uh, so yeah we'll start wrapping it up like I said if you've got any questions please do ask leave comments don't forget hit the like button and I cannot um, emphasize enough hit the subscribe button also one new feature I'm going to try because I've had many requests uh, if I can try and put subtitles in German I will try and give it a go I promise uh, but if somebody knows how to do this on YouTube feel free to leave a comment explaining how I can do this uh, I think we'll leave it at that for now uh, and enjoy the video and hopefully you'll enjoy your new Jaguar emulator take care till the next video